everyone welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing how attractive are you and I found this topic kind of confusing because I thought I really want to do this topic but the title kind of makes me confused a little bit because everyone is attractive in their own way okay guys so I'm gonna this is basically gonna be how attractive are you and what are your best attributes what are your best parts of your personality basically so we have group number one group number two group number three and group number four please uh, choose your group and let's get started with the pick a card. So starting off with group number one. Hello group number one, let's get started with your reading. So let's see how attractive you are. So let's get started with the astrology cards. I did have a kind of love-hate relationship with these cards and now I really really love them. So let's get started and see how attractive you are. So we have first of all we have Capricorn, gorgeous. So I'm just going to move my camera up slightly so you guys can see that a little bit better. There we go. So we have Capricorn, we then have the Sun, lovely, and then we also have Gemini, beautiful. So you could be a Capricorn Sun or a Gemini Sun. Um, and then gonna have a look into the other cards. We're gonna see what else we have. Okay, gorgeous, we have Fuchsite, Healing, Heart Chakra, beautiful. A lot of heart energy. We have Be Here Now, Tend to the Small Things, Mouse Spirit, and then we also have the three of pentacles so basically how attractive you guys are is you guys are obviously extremely attractive <laughs> um i feel like the best attributes of your guys's personality is how attractive you are is you're very very sexy okay i feel like you're the sort of person who kind of owns a room and i feel like there's half of you guys i feel like it's split down the middle for some of you guys with this Capricorn energy, I feel like Capricorn and Gemini are very, very opposite from what I'm feeling as well, is the Capricorn card is very assertive, very, I want to not say cold, but cold is the wrong word. It's like very stern, knows what they want, ambitious, you know, disciplined, that sort of thing. Very, very sexy. And then we have an extremely sexy energy here with the Gemini, but this is more lighthearted, very childlike that sort of thing. So it's almost like, I say, like it says the boss, this is literally like the boss. And then we have the butterfly. So obviously very, very different energies, but both have some sort of really yummy, sexy energy that they kind of bring to the table, okay? So obviously if you are not a Capricorn or a Gemini, that's totally fine guys, you will still have these attributes if it resonates with you. So I also feel like you guys are very creative and people see you as somebody who really likes to get their hands dirty. And if it's not your hands getting dirty, then they're definitely gonna be you're definitely going to be doing something with your hands, okay? So it could be crafting, photography, art. And it's definitely something to do with physical touch as well. I feel like you guys like a great deal of physical touch. We also have healing heart chakra here. So you're definitely somebody who has a really, really big heart, okay? You're definitely somebody who cares a lot. And you're somebody who possibly has a tendency to overthink as well. Because you are somebody who likes to be very forthright and kind of in the zone and what does this mean in the zone you're very determined you're very determined to get things done but it can actually affect you in a way that makes you kind of miss out on things because you you like to cut things short and possibly get to things sooner than they should be done basically like speeding through life too quickly so if this is you then you are extremely attractive because you get shit done okay you get shit done and people are like wow this person's really sexy they know what they want there's somebody who really, really kind of thinks about everything before they do it. But also you don't wait around, guys. You don't wait around. I definitely don't feel like you wait around. So also tend to the small things makes me feel like I say you guys like to do things with your hands. OK, and especially like intricate things like sewing, that sort of thing. Just anything that's like intricate and really just, yeah, really creative. And people think you're very, very attractive because you're very very creative and you're very very expressive with your own emotions and this sun card makes me feel very warm and like wow like oh my god like you're somebody who gets noticed a lot like you're very energetic i feel like for a lot of you guys you're very energetic some of you not so much some of you guys are very calm cool and collected and some of you guys are just like so much freaking energy it's like what do i do with this <laughs> what do i do with all this some of you guys you can be very communicative as well you love to talk and that's very attractive for a lot of people because they feel very comfortable around you and they feel very kind of, yeah, they feel very calm. They feel like you're the sort of person who's very sociable, very social, you know, someone who's very restless. And you're somebody who really likes to get involved with things, likes to get things moving. 
and I feel like once I get things moving like the energy moving in the room as well so we also have healing heart chakra which is lovely this is making me feel like you guys are as I say have a really big heart and you also help people to heal their hearts as well you're very you're somebody who who people go to for advice okay and you're definitely somebody who has a very open personality and when I say open personality you're very open to people's different people's views and you're not the sort of person to judge with this Capricorn I do feel like <clears throat> if you are more of like the stern type I do feel like you can be more judgmental than a Gemini but I do feel like that's just because you kind of know what you want and it can come off as a little bit kind of rigid but that's that I think that's very very normal being an earth sign um not to shade any of the earth signs um but also for fixed signs as well when they know what they want they know what they want you know and that's also very sexy it's a very sexy quality there's nothing wrong with that you also like to be very prepared whereas Gemini kind of just goes for it you know <laughs> so obviously as I say it's I'm not being general about the star sign I'm really trying not to be general about the star signs but if any of these qualities that you have are being pulled up in this reading it's a very sexy quality like people find that attractive people like organization um, and some people like restlessness you know like some people like that different kind of energy and I feel like whatever you guys bring to the table is going to make you extremely attractive because you're just somebody who wants to love and, and really cares to, about people and really cares about things that sometimes a lot of other people don't really care about so let's have a look and have a look at the astrology dice and I'm going to see more about your sun sign. I'm not really kind of going to go into all the different planets. So let me just grab the sun part. So we have the sun here. And then we're going to see what other sign we have coming in here. Okay, so this is very interesting because I thought we had Libra. But it's not Libra. Obviously, that's the wrong one. I'm so silly. It's, it's late, guys. It's late at night. Um, we have Gemini again. <laughs> so if you guys have Gemini very prominently in your chart, then that's definitely one of your most like sexy attributes I feel like uh that makes you the most kind of like positive and very like energetic yeah very sexy um yeah so that's your reading guys I really hope you enjoyed it if this didn't resonate feel free to choose another group and sometimes this reading isn't for you so thank you so much also people find you very warm and fluffy like a mouse like very cute uh some of you guys might be very small as well like quite small in height um and also very like like the hummingbird just kind of not just moving all the freaking time <laughs> okay so Thank you so much for watching guys and if you would like a private reading all the information is down below and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello group number two. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see how attractive you are, what your positive attributes are, what makes you very sexy. So let's have a look. We have King Quinn Kunk's complexity. I always have trouble saying that word. <laughs> um, we then have Neptune dreams. We then have 10th house of reputation. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Oh, we also have another astrology card here. We have square challenge. I'm gonna plop that guy there. So the next card we have is Jade, good luck, heart chakra. We then have the, ooh, ace of cups. Nice guys, nice. So a lot of you guys, you could be a water sign for this group, more likely a Pisces. Uh, Spirit has your back. And then we also have Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. So a lot of spiritual energy. So I'm feeling Aquarius, Pisces, any of the water signs I'm feeling, uh, mainly for this group, okay? So obviously if you're not any of those star signs, don't worry about it, guys. It's not extremely important, just for extra clarification. So the fact we've got the Ace of Cups is really giving me the vibes that you guys are obviously extremely attractive. I'm gonna say so every group, because every group is attractive. Um, but you guys are attractive in your own way in terms of you're co mostly concentrated around your heart chakra, okay? Very similar to group number one, actually. You guys are very dreamy. You guys love to kind of dream. You love things that are fantasy. You possibly like dressing up, that sort of thing. Like it could be like dressing up in like fantasy clothes, like Comic-Con kind of deal. Or it could be that you like dressing up in like sexy clothes, like unlike a tight dress, that sort of thing. Or like form-fitting clothes. Um, I also feel like for you guys, you are very mysterious. You're very, very mysterious. And you also have a very complex mind, okay? You have a very complex mind. And I feel like it's because you're such a deep person. I feel like you're extremely deep and you care so much about other people. You're very connected to spirituality as well. And what makes you um, attractive is the fact that you are very dreamy and people really gravitate towards that. People really like to know that you have a vivid imagination. Like that is very attractive and it turns on a lot of people. 
And with the career and responsibilities, people see you as somebody who's very, very responsible, someone who really put, takes your dreams to consideration. Oh my God, something just made me jump. I don't know what that was. Sorry guys, there's like a, okay. Don't want any spirits around here today. Thank you very much, sorry guys. I never liked physical spirits and I feel like I just saw one. That was, Whew. okay, let me just collect myself. Okay, I don't want any physical spirits, thank you. I recently had a mouse in my house and I literally thought it was a mouse spirit. And it's funny because we literally had this card in the last group, okay? So please, no mouse spirits. Okay, I'm good, thank you. Just put that out there, thank you very much. No real spirits, thank you. Anyway guys, I'm, I do apologize. Okay, let's get back to this reading. So, good luck, Jade, heart chakra. You could be, as I say, you guys are very connected to spirits. So I do feel like there could be spirits around you if you want them to, as I say, like I just did, you can just ask them to go away because I don't like seeing physical spirits. That's not my vibe, okay? Love spirits, don't wanna see them in the physical. That's not what I'm, what I'm here for, okay? So we then have challenge. So I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it can be a challenge for you to actually express yourself in terms of your heart chakra. For some of you guys, it's like as similar to group number one, actually, it's kind of split in the middle where a lot of you guys are very, very connected to your heart and a lot of you guys have challenges with your heart. Some of you guys are really connected to your career and it can be quite a challenge. Some of you are connected to your heart and it can be complex. So, you know, very, very similar. And both of you, like both sides have the spirits here, the, the spirit has your back, the abundant universal provides, you know, it's like that spirit energy. Both of these, this kind of split down the middle energy, both of whoever you are watching this, whoever you kind of resonate with or you resonate with all of it, is that you guys really, really connect with spiritual beings, spiritual animals, actual spirits, you know, that sort of thing. So with this good luck jade heart chakra, 21 could be your number or 22 or one. And basically you guys, I really feel like what makes you attractive as I say is you're very dreamy. And a lot of you guys can really kind of have a lot of empathy for other people. You fantasize about things. You really like to, you kind of possibly um, self-sacrifice, like you possibly give too much or you kind of give, overly give where you miss out, you know? So be careful of that. Um, make sure to fill up your own cup with the Ace of Cups. And you guys are going to be very abundant in love. This this group, this here, the Jade Heart Chakra, I feel like your love life may be quite complicated, but it's it's going to turn out fine. Whatever you're going through, it's going to turn out fine. And if it's turned out fine now, then you are on the right track, okay? And if it hasn't turned out fine now, you will get there. So with this Neptune Dreams also, it's just making me feel very watery and very kind of um, enchanted. You guys might like Harry Potter, you know, um, The Hobbit. Lord of the Rings, possibly even like nerdy things like Star Trek, you know, or Doctor Who. You like anything that kind of takes you out of your own world, possibly like Avatar, that sort of thing. A lot of you guys could love love filming and films and as stuff like that, and also books as well. So same with group number one. It's going to be looking into another star sign that is present in this reading. So let's have a look and see what else we have. Lovely. We have is this Pisces? Oh my god, my my brain is like mush today. Sorry guys, it's really late, so I'm very confused. Uh, Aquarius, yeah, perfect. So I was picking up on Aquarius, so that's absolutely lovely, I love that. So as I say, very, very spiritual, very, very spiritual energy. And yeah, I, I think I said about, I, said, I think I said Aquarius as well. So let's see what your number is, that is your possibly your lucky number. It's all to look out for, we have number four. So I didn't do this with group number one, but I really felt drawn to do that for you guys. So for you guys, it's all about kind of creating foundations. And that's what makes you attractive is you're always trying to balance things out. You're always trying to make sure that things are okay. Everyone's sorted. You know, you like a solid foundation within your life. I mean, don't we all? You like fixing puzzle pieces together. You like kind of putting things together in a nice neat box and saying, look, this is how it is. Boom, done. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up, comment down below and subscribe if you'd like to. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. And if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see how attractive you are. And as I said, I am also looking into your, basically your attributes and things like that. What's your most positive attributes about your personality? Obviously everyone is attractive in their own way. So we have, oh, lovely, Mercury. So you're the most, this is drawing me and every time I get this Mercury card, I just get sucked into it. I absolutely love this card. It's like, yes, 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 yes. So your communication skills, very, very sexy, very attractive about you. Very wise. Oh, I'm getting such an old soul from this 
group. Wow. So you could also be an Aquarius or have Aquarius quite prominent in your chart. You could be an innovator as well, like an innovator personality, that sort of thing. Okay, let's have a look and see what else we have. We have, oh, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. So very, very loyal personality. This and that are true, dolphin spirit. And then we also have the tiger's eye animal, solar plexus chakra. And from the tarot, queen of wands, beautiful. So a lot of you guys could be fire signs. We've got fire, we've got air here, and we're gonna have a look into another um, another sun sign as well. So let's put that sun sign there. We're gonna see what other sign we have here. Oh, lovely, we've got Libra. So you could have Libra quite, Libra quite prominently in your chart. Also, I am feeling Scorpio from this group as well. Um, so if you're, if I haven't said your sign, guys, don't worry about it. It's just extra clarification. If not, then it is still for you. Um, if this resonates, you know, we'll see how it goes. So, so what's the most attractive thing about you? How attractive are you? So you are extremely attractive. You are very, very wise, very old soul. Um, your communication is on point, okay? You are somebody who, very, very curious about life, loves learning, loves talking, loves, loves talking, okay? Loves talking, loves anything to do with words, so anything to do with like speech. Uh, you could be a med something in the media, you could be wanting to be like an actress, a poet, um, a singer, that sort of thing. And it's very attractive because you, when you talk, it's like you know what you want. The way you say stuff is like, wow, this person has very, very wise words. I don't think you actually see this candle. I read it in places very well. Oh well, it's fine, moving on. Um, so basically, with this be law to what you love, it's funny because we've got 19 and 20. So you guys always like to level up in life. You love to constantly be, constantly accelerating and leveling up your life. With this queen of wands, it's making me feel like you guys are very, very passionate about something. And once you're passionate about something, you properly are very passionate about it. And funnily enough, speaking about passion, we have the solar plexus, which is very, very passionate. And you may um, struggle with possible anxiety issues, self-esteem, that sort of thing, but you're learning to cultivate self-love and you're learning to love yourself just the way you are as a beautiful, attractive human being. So as I say, a lot of you guys could be an Aquarius. The Aquarius is very, very spiritual. Very, I like to think they're very unique, which most of the time, everyone is unique. Everyone is unique. Um, and it just likes to be unique, you know. Um, likes to be experimental, very radical, likes to be free, you know, kind of like the hippie of the Zodiac. <laughs> um, and is very, as I say, very, very wise. So with this Saturn, I really, really love the Saturn-Mercury-Aquarius combination because I feel like for a lot of you, if you even, even it's like extra points if you have Mercury and Aquarius, you know, um, obviously don't worry about it, guys, if you don't. And for a lot of you guys, it's very important for you guys to have self-control because I feel like when you find something you really, really like, you just fucking go for it. You know, you really, really go for it. And sometimes it can be, you possibly go into it too early whatever that thing is, you may start things too early, okay? Sorry if you guys heard my shoulder click. My shoulders are kind of hurting at the moment, so hopefully that's not buggering up with the microphone and you're not hearing this crunching sound, um, which is funny because I think I saw the word bones. Yeah, I did, yeah. That's really interesting. With Saturn, it, ra it rules bones. Ooh, that's interesting. So some of you guys, it could be something to do with your bones. I don't know what that is. Maybe you have cracky bones as well, like I do and you could watch the TV show Bones, but also they're telling me that you could uncover things in your life that nobody else has uncovered. So very esoteric. Um, you could, you guys could like to be uh, archeologists or something to do with kind of the taboo parts of life. So kind of NCIS, kind of secret agent, kind of things that people do behind the scenes, which you like to do. And Aquariuses are very, very sexy people, very, very attractive. And obviously, if you're not Aquarius, guys, as I said, don't worry about it. It's totally fine. So you could also be connected to black cats. Um, this black cat always kind of resonates with me. I'm a black cat lover. I'm born on Halloween. I am a witch. <laughs> so every time black cats come up for me, I really, really connect with them. And every time they come up and read and think, this person is very, very spiritual. And with this, this and that are true, you guys just kind of go with the flow, okay? Well, you try and go with the flow as much as you can. And you like to think that you like go that you like to think that you go with the flow, um, because we also have free here as well, which is very interesting. And dolphins are extremely spiritual, extremely spiritual spiritual beings. Okay, so let's see what number you are connecting to. We have the number one, beautiful. So if you guys, as I say, innovator, that is literally the number one. It's like the person who rules over 
kind of making decisions and the person who makes moves in life, you know, creates impact, creates gorgeous kind of um, stands for people when sometimes they don't have a voice, you know, the sort of person that stands up at a podium in front of millions of people to talk about your views, you know, on life and improving the world, which is stunning. So thank you so much for watching guys. I felt like I need to touch this rose quartz. I feel like a lot of you guys, if you have something you're very, very passionate about, and it could even be animals as well with the solar plexus chakra also. Uh, yeah, and I thought you guys are really just very passionate people, very, very passionate, very fiery. So thank you so much for watching, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. Let me know that you like it and I can do another video like this. And if you also want to subscribe, all that uh, lovely stuff is down below. And for private readings also, all information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love, Fruit 3. Bye. Hello, Fruit Number 4. Let's get started with your reading. I will do a proper wave at some point. I do this, do the little piano. <laughs> Uh, so let's have a look and see about how attractive you are and as I say in every group you are attractive in your own way We're gonna see what your personality is like what your most sexy attributes are that sort of thing. So um, Okay, getting drawn to do it. No, okay. No, sorry <laughs> Okay, so we have ninth house seeking beautiful We then have the sixth house craft. Oh lovely. I don't ever really get this card. So that's really interesting So very unique individuals you guys are then we have the Numinous Mystery. Wow. Okay, so for some of you guys, I'm definitely getting for some of you guys, you could do taboo things like weed, like uh, drugs, <laughs> that sort of thing for some of you guys. And some of you guys, like, people may find that attractive, you know? I don't know why I'm feeling that. I just, I'm getting that very strongly. We have Garnet, Commitment, Peace, Selenite. And we also have citrine. Oh, I love citrine. We have citrine, solar plexus chakra, abundance and creativity. Gorgeous. You guys always have the most cards. We have giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Chameleon spirit, act as if. Elephant spirit, learn from the past. And then we also have wasp spirit, sometimes life stings. And then from the tarot, we have the hanged man. So for you guys, decisions can be quite difficult. And that's why this one's popping out. But commitment is your number one priority, I feel like, for you guys. You love commitment. You love committed to things. Very, very committed. Once you're doing something, you're very, very committed to it. And that's what makes you most attractive. You guys love to be committed to things. You are very, very um, forthright with what you want. You Most of the time, you know what you want. <laughs> um, I do feel like for a lot of you guys, you are going to be fixed signs for this group. Um, obviously, if you're not a fixed sign, that's totally fine. Fixed signs meaning Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or Aquarius, Taurus. There we go. <laughs> Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. Uh, if not, no worries, guys. And, and we also have the act as if. So for a lot of you guys, you just kind of go with the flow or you like to just go with the flow. You're very big picture people. You love traveling. You love anything to do with higher education, adventure. And you love things that involve you creating and improving your skills, okay? And bringing in new skills as well. For a lot of you guys, you're also very kind of focused on your diet. You could be a vegan, you could be vegetarian, pescatarian, paleo, you know, the list goes on. Um, but you could also just be very kind of cautious about your diet as well because <clears throat> you know that your body is sacred. And I feel like you could be somebody who talks about health and beauty a lot as well. And with this numinous mystery, you're constantly fascinated by ghosts, the unknown, shadow work, other worlds, psychic abilities, that sort of thing. You could be extremely psychic as well. And you look after your body just so you can kind of carry on with that. The fact that we have these two definitely makes you feel like for a lot of you, you guys, you have done kind of like mushrooms, LSD, that kind of thing. And I'm not promoting that whatsoever. Um, but I just am getting that vibe that a lot of you have done drugs. <laughs> um but yeah definitely um obviously not everyone but you know i feel like for a lot of you guys you have experiments experiment with that because you just love kind of tripping out <laughs> um but for a lot of you guys you could be very very sensitive that you do trip out kind of on the daily you know or you could just be very sensitive that you see spirit auras um you see yeah energy um you see kind of i don't know aliens esoteric visions you know um daydreaming, um, what's the other one I'm feeling? Astro travel, definitely astro travel. They're nodding my head, so astro travel. You love space and other worlds. 
and what makes you so attractive as I said is you're very outgoing you know and if you're not extremely outgoing you're definitely somebody who's so open about other worlds you know you're so open about it and it brings you peace because it makes you feel like you're part of the world you know you're not separate from it so with this um citrine it has a bun it says abundance creativity solar plexus for a lot of you guys some of you guys you could have quite bad anxiety and therefore that's possibly why you do take drugs or like you do trip out on the on on, on, like a lot you trip out a lot because you're very sensitive you're you're possibly a star child star being or an old soul you know rainbow child crystal child whatever you want to call it you're very sensitive being and it can be quite hard for you to be grounded you know um so i would not recommend drugs just to let you guys know just putting that out there i would not recommend drugs um but you do like to kind of talk about taboo things or you've had quite a hard life for you guys and what makes you so attractive is that you've gone through it and you've learned from the past and you're still learning from the past and for a lot of you guys you've learned from the past you're still learning from the past and you've really kind of cultivated a really nice commitment to yourself you're very committed to your own self-love and you're very committed to other people you're very committed to helping communities and just other people and you possibly work in the kind of health department of life so you could work in uh, homeopathy uh, massage psychotherapy counseling uh, tarot reading anything that helps people most likely with their body or their mind definitely a feel for this group very very spiritual somebody who is most likely of, of much you resonate as a hippie okay you guys you're very much a hippie and i just love that so much obviously when i say hippie please don't be offended i just some people find that offensive when i say hippie I love hippies. I love the word hippie. I just think it's such a cute word. And I consider myself a hippie. Not that I look like one, but you know, who does? So <laughs> what defines a hippie? So let's see what stars we have. Oh, gorgeous. We have cancer. Sorry, guys. My brain is like mush because I'm recording this quite late at night. Uh, yes, that is cancer. So very, very, yeah, cancer makes so much sense. Like you guys are very, very tuned in, very spiritual, very emotional. I want to say emotion, we're just, you're just so, like, you're there with it. You are so, like, you can understand people so well. And you, that's why you love traveling as well. You just love, like, talking to different people and understanding their stories. Very deep personality. I'm also getting Pisces for this group as well and just any water sign. And with the Garnet, as I say, you're very committed and you love relationships. You love connections, friendships, relationships. Relationships are, like, the peak of your life. You just absolutely love them. And your favourite thing to do, I feel like, is travelling and also creating peace and helping others, I feel like, for you guys. And that's what makes you very, very attractive. So let's see what your number is. It's going to pop up for this group. We have the number four, which is perfect. So number four is all about stability, creating stability, helping other people to be stable and helping other people to be balanced. And that's your group. Also, if you uh, connect to crystals and, you know, the moon and Egypt and the pyramids and also pyrite, I'm getting for this group. If you connect to that, then I definitely feel like you guys are um, very, very spiritual beings, very, very spiritual. So, very mysterious as well. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a big old thumbs up. So subscribe down below. Thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to build my channel up more. I just love you guys. I love what I do. So, thank you so much for for letting me do this. And I'm really glad you enjoy my content. So, as always, if you'd like a private reading, all my information is down below. And I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.